everyone, Andy here. Uh, today I'm excited to talk to you about some of the latest LED technology uh, and the modes found in many of these new LED light sources. Uh, I don't know about you, but some of the most exciting technology coming out in the cinema business today uh, are the new uh, LED fixtures, uh, especially the ones that are full color, full RGB. I have with me two of those today, the Kinoflow Diva Light 21 uh, and the Philex uh, Matrix 2. Uh, the Diva Light 21 here is uh, the full LED version of the, one of the most popular lights ever, the Diva uh, from Kino. Uh, and this is a nice addition to the uh, Kino Flow lineup of LEDs because it has all the same features you would find in the full lineup, the Celeb, the Freestyle, but in the same small form factor that so many love and a very similar output to the Diva as it was uh, with the tube. So uh, basically a full featured full color uh, LED fixture and that nice form factor. Uh, and this, the Matrix 2, is a sort of sequel or a second version of the original Matrix light from Felix, which is a really uh, punchy source. We'll get a lot of output for an LED fixture in general. Uh, and this one's full RGB, so you have the benefit of a, of a punchy uh, source with the full color range. So both of these lights and most of the RGB lights out there today that you'll find from sky panel and onward have uh, some of the modes we're going to talk about today, uh, which are a CCT or white balance, HSI uh, or hue saturation intensity modes, uh, and full RGBW adjustment modes. So uh, I want to go through what those mean, why you would want to use them, and what the purpose is. So starting with the Kino here, I'll go ahead and turn it around. I'll point it back here, turn that on. Um, I'm in right now the white mode. You can see that under the menu, white. Uh, go back out. And this has a pretty simple mode, something similar to the bicolor modes you would find in sort of slightly older LED fixtures that could do both daylight and tungsten. Uh, this has a simple dimmer adjustment as well as a mode here to change between Kelvin temperature. With Kino, by the way, if you push this button and you can jump faster so I can go down all the way to 2700 Kelvin, uh, all the way up to, in this case, 6500 Kelvin. Great, this is very straightforward mode, probably the mode you're going to use the most. Right now I have LED lights on me and they're all in this mode, right? So uh, daylight, tungsten balance, you choose, uh, normal mode. Additionally, uh, these fixtures also have a very important adjustment, which is green magenta. Um, these is, this is the most common sort of issue you'll find with LED light sources. They may be a little green, a little magenta, especially compared to each other. Uh, so this mode here, which I can get to up here, allows me to dial in green or dial in magenta. Uh, or uh, I can, you can see, put all the green in there, a little bit of green adjustment and all, a little bit of magenta adjustment. Hard to see on the camera per se, but it is making a substantial difference uh, compared uh, if, you, if you need it. It really could, could match fixtures together. Uh, with the Felix, I have basically the same sort of thing here. I'll go ahead and turn it on, we'll do it this way. Uh, I am in the CCT mode right now, which you can see here. There it is. Uh, and I have an intensity dial, right? I have a, I have a, oh, I have a temperature dial. I can go between 2800 Kelvin uh, and 10,000. And this is the case I was saying before. They're most likely using an actual blue addition to get a little, actually using some of the blue LEDs to get it into a higher temperature, but that's, that works well. Certainly a normal range uh, for most, a huge range for most applications. And that middle dial now becomes your green magenta shifter. They'll, they'll call it plus green, minus green. Minus green is magenta. So, um, so we can dial it up or in. Uh, and in this case, it's nice that I can do this if I had a color meter, especially easy. But I can really match these two lights together to be a very, very similar color. And they look pretty well matched, but there's there might be a slight difference, which I can quickly dial out with this value. So the green magenta is a big deal when it comes to LED fixtures. All right, so that's the CCT, or color cor correlated temperature mode, or just the white mode uh, on both of these lights. Um, the next mode is called uh, HSI, or hue saturation intensity mode. Uh, when I first heard this, I was thinking, I don't know what that's for. Uh, but the reality is that this is the mode you're going to use for color for most onset applications. Um, 
Saturation increases the use of the color LEDs, and hue dials in the color, while the intensity is basically just the brightness of the light. Uh, so on the um, Kino here, I, they call this gel slash hue mode. The gel is an additional feature they have inside, hue being the H of HSI. So go back to the mode menu here. This uh, menu still has a uh, basic dimmer adjustment as well as a Kelvin adjustment. They actually let me set that white point using the white LEDs inside of the unit uh, and then adjust saturation and hue on top of that. You might note that when I went into this mode, the light didn't suddenly turn a color. Well, it won't until I actually add saturation. So sat adding saturation actually brings up the, the, the colors in those RGB LEDs inside the fixture. If I go inside here, menu, 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 up to saturation, and start to increase that saturation, you'll see I'm starting to get color. At first, it's going to be adding color, bringing up the lights above white. And when I go to full 100% saturation, I'm basically fully using a color. Now, it's all blue right now because uh, I'm dialed in that hue of blue. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, H is at the 240 degrees. Basically, this is a, a color wheel of hue, uh, red being at zero degrees and the color wheel moving around around that. If I go into that mode here, I can dial up to red, again, being at zero degrees yellow being at 40, green being here in the 100 degree range, cyan, blue again, etc. So I can really dial in a variety of colors. Let's just leave it at, at zero degrees for point of comparison here. Um, and this is not a precise science, but it's very easy to use, easy to operate with, and, and, and basically the mode that, to, that you will be able to easily dial in a color on set. Um, now, uh, now, because we're not talking precise values here, when you compare two different fixtures to each other, dialing the same degree doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to get the same exact color because the LEDs in this unit may be a slightly different color than the LEDs in that unit. When the, within the same manufacturer, you would expect to be pretty close, but from manufacturer to manufacturer, they could be a little different. Um, but let's go ahead and turn on the, that mode here. Go double click here and go to HSI. And, and then you'll see I have already an intensity up, and 100% intensity. And again, I can dial a, a saturation value up. It's 100% saturated now. Uh, and I can go through various hues, right? Same kind of idea. So I can go up to, go ahead and go to red. 360, or go to blue, etc. So this is really the color mode that we're mostly going to be using on set uh, because it's easy to dial in. And you can see they're pretty close to each other. Maybe a little off, but um, for color effects, it may be an OK thing. Um, so uh, this mode, again, popular for that application, easy to use. Uh, the last mode is RGB, right? RGB is the mode I thought you would go to for red, green, or blue, but in reality is much more of a precise dialing in of a specific color. If I go to the mode here in the uh, Kino, they call it RGB mode. Uh, here, I can dial in full values for red, green, and blue with values between 0 and 255, basically an 8-bit color spectrum, it's the color mode. Um, if I go up into the menu here, you can see as I, I can actually dial in different greens, blues, add it together, and, and get a very specific color if I choose to. Uh, you know, and this is very important for some application. Let's say you specifically wanted to dial or match two colors, or you're really using a color board uh, or software control that really needs this. Uh, that's really the important application for it, is those color board software tools, et cetera, um, that, that, that would need that flexibility. But on set, I can see as only, most people only using this in the case of trying to do some specific matching or they had one specific color they wanted to dial in. So um, it's a mode that's important to have here, uh, but probably not that practical for uh, on set non-wired work. In fact, the Matrix 2 here only lets you get into that mode uh, if you're using DMX or you know a, a color board. You know? uh, so just as a, a note about that. Now, there's other modes uh, available in the Kino and other fixtures in general, like effects modes and gel modes. Just quickly on gel modes, which is kind of fun. Uh, gel modes in the Kino basically emulate um, 
various gel colors on top of the white balance that you've dialed in. Uh, this, is, this basically is adjusting hues and saturations to match sort of common Roscoe uh, gels, right? So uh, that's a great thing. And they also have effects modes like cop car and fire effects and water. So those are also fantastic when you need them. Uh, no more dimmer, no more um, dimmer boxes really needed on set when you use when using lights like this. So uh, again, full features, but uh, the the main modes you'll find in these lights that you need to know about HSI, CCT, RGB. They, most every RGB light has this in one way or another. They may name it slightly differently. So that's it for the for the, for, for now. I hope you like my hope you like the blog. I hope it's useful. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.